One of the largest and rarest crocodilians to exist is the Temistema. It is a thin-snouted animal that lives in the following regions of Southeast Asia and typically grows to 13 to 15 feet with a maximum of up to 17 feet reported. However, claims of this species reaching 20 feet or more do exist. One of the main reasons for this is because of this skull at the Natural History Museum in London. This Temistema skull is the longest skull of any living crocodilian with a length of 33 inches. With a skull as large as this, many attempts have been made to determine the length of this animal. If you didn't know, there is a correlation of head length to total body length in crocodilians that scientists use to estimate the length of an animal based on its skull. For many crocodilians, this ratio is about 1 to 7 for many years of their life, but increases to 1 to 8 or 1 to 9 as the animal gets larger. If we take the dorsal cranial length of the skull, which is 33 inches, multiply it by this 8 or 9, we get a total length of 22 to 24 feet. This makes this animal one of the longest estimated crocodilians based on skulls we have. Even just a ratio of 1 to 7.3 makes this an animal of 20 feet. However, are these estimates correct? You see, while the 1 to 7 ratio is correct for some crocodilians up until a certain point in their growth, long and thin-snouted crocodilians, such as the Temistema, don't have this ratio. The Indian gharial, the most long and thin-snouted of all crocodilians, starts with a ratio of 1 to 5, then increases. This ratio does not increase to the 1 to 8 or 1 to 9 like in other species. Based on a previous study on Temistema, a possible upper ratio for this species is 1 to 6.4. In addition, let's say this animal has a ratio of 1 to 7, which is the most realistic upper limit in my opinion for Temistema. That leaves us with a length range of 17 to 19 feet, a large crocodilian but not breaking the 20 foot mark. I recently contacted Colin Stevenson of the Temistema Task Force, and he told me that there were previous miscalculations of the skull, leading scientists to believe the animal was longer than it likely was. Stevenson even told me that most maximum lengths of the species are around the 16 foot mark, and that these are outliers. However, other historical reports of 20 foot Temistema exist, and I'll look at those in the future. It was also recently World Temistema Day, a day where we celebrate and recognize this incredible but unfortunately rare species of crocodilian. They are currently listed as vulnerable, but their status is unfortunately being changed to endangered, mainly due to habitat loss. If you want to help this incredible species, donate to the following groups, link in description. You can also visit a zoo that has a Temistema on display. Let's keep these animals alive in the wild for generations to come. Also, for those wondering, this skull is a prop for a TV show. It's not real. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.